Hello, my loves. How are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Guys, this is going to be a reading. This is going to be the monthly reading for my Leos. And this will be for October of 2020. So I hope you guys had a beautiful, beautiful month. Um, if you guys haven't seen videos, I took in uh, four kittens. Um, they're not the same from the same litter. Um, I took in two kittens um, that I found on the side of the road. And I took in two uh, rescue kittens. Um, that were born in a garage. So uh, I just got done um, feeding the uh, little ones. The ones that I uh, rescued from the garage, they are like five weeks old and they are tiny. Um, so I have been coaxing them to eat um, some canned food. Um, the little boy, the little orange one, uh, he is eating wonderful. Uh, and the little girl is... I've been feeding her with a syringe because she just, you know, it's just um, it more likes the milk. So I kind of made up a gruel of a formula and uh, canned food. And I'm kind of giving it to him that way. And so once I get him, if I can get him, get her to eat, um, you know, with the uh, the eyedropper, I said syringe before the eyedropper, um, she will eat. So, and mama has been eating good and she has been nursing a little bit now. So I'm just trying to get them so that they're dependent, not as dependent on mama because I, she looks so tired. Um, I feel so bad for her. Um, but anyways, so angels, guides, and spirits, what is it that Leo needs to know for October of 2020, please? But everything's been going good with the kittens. They are adorable. They still are hissing at me. The, the ones, the other ones are, they were, they're just as friendly as can be. The two I found out on the, the rule route. They're little love buttons. All right, one more. And there's the two cards I need right on the floor. Okay. All right, guys, let's see what's going on with you. So you're present. I don't have enough room on this table. We have the charm. Charm's all about a gift, okay? So your present is all about a gift is coming your way or um, maybe some kind of magical powers. I, you guys aren't witches, witcheries or, you know, Merlin or anything like that, but you have some higher power coming to you to bring you those gifts, okay? So for your immediate, I have the snake, and it's all about, um, for your immediate, I have something to do with um, the lungs, maybe. Why am I feeling that? Um, maybe some kind of bad weather's coming in, some kind of a sickness, maybe some kind of an obstruction of some sort. So something's blocking you, but be careful of your lungs for some reason. Be careful of... Um, that cold. Maybe you get a cold and maybe you have a little problem with your lungs or bronchial. So I'm feeling that. Um, a little, uh, you know, maybe a cough or something, but there's something to do with that. And then for your um, goal, the goal that you are setting for yourself and the um, um, destiny, your destiny is all about the raven. And I absolutely love the raven card 
you know. The Raven's all about that that higher power, that spirituality, that um, enlightenment. You know, that's what that's all about is that beautiful enlightenment that you have. You know, I just love this card. Love it, love it, love it. So for your distant past, I have the teapot. And the teapot's all about um, maybe there's a, a secret that's, that maybe you told or somebody has been telling. It's kind of about this hot gossipy type stuff. So maybe in the past here recently, um, there's a secret that you were told um, that maybe somebody was hiding from you for a little bit, but it's finally out in the open. Or maybe you are hiding something and it's been, you know, coming to a closure. Okay. So then for your, uh, your recent past, I have the cross. And the cross is all about that, that spirituality. It's all about that um, higher power. It's all about maybe carrying on a heavy load. Maybe something, um, a family member, maybe they told you that secret and it's kind of kind of burdened you down a little bit. You know, maybe made you feel a little bit on the oh, side. You know, like, oh my gosh, really? You know, but I, I feel as if it's something like that. So for your future, I see heaven and earth. Okay, I see that ray of light. So everything's looking up. Okay, so that that ray of light is here. It's heaven and earth. Um, it's that balance. You know, everything is looking up with that beautiful ray of light. Okay, so then for your attitude, the attitude that you've been having lately is the pillar. And the pillar... The pillar is all about solid, dependable, and sturdy. Okay, so you've been feeling um, kind of maybe a little bit dependent on someone or something. Or maybe you've had to be dependent and sturdy and solid for someone. Okay, then I have um, for what others think of you. They think of you as a wheel. Okay, they think of you as tra wheel. The wheel is all about travel. Okay, but people maybe see you as um, you can deal with circumstances, the circumstances that are thrown at you, and the circumstances that um, have been put at you. You're dealing with them. You're going around that wheel, and that wheel keeps turning. Right. And, you know, you end one thing to begin a new cycle. So that's it's, it's all about cycles. So they see you as one that can handle a cycle. OK, that you're strong, you're dependable, just like the other card. You know, you're you're very strong. And your uh, emotions inside have been all about um, maybe that little spark of energy. Maybe you've been looking at the light a little bit and saying, shine on me. I need that. Maybe it's uh, um, about prayer. Maybe you've been thinking about prayer. So your final outcome is all about um, this man. Okay, I'm a little clueless. Your final outcome is about a masculine figure. It's all about, about being strong, okay? It's about having to be strong about a situation that you're going through. So you need to be, you need that, that strength, okay? And the man is here. It's giving you the strength. It's giving you that masculine energy so that you can deal with the situation at hand, okay? So that is what I have for you guys. Let's pull an oracle card from the uh, Earth Magic deck and see what it is that um, the guides, uh, angels, spirit, the universe, what it is they want you to know or tell you 
for the month of October mm -hmm. of 2020. Angels, guides, and spirits. What is it that Leo needs to know for the month of October of 2020, please? Angels, guides, and spirits. And more shuffle, guys. My puppy is down here just a snoring up a storm. I don't know if you guys can hear him or not. That one happened fast, guys. So we have dream time. So they want you to, it's all about creation. So you need to create your own destiny. You need to create um, things that you want. And then we have the lake. And the lake is all about stillness. Staying calm. You know, that peacefulness, that serenity. Okay, so so stay serene um, this month. Stay calm about things, you know, and, and use that creation, you know, cre to create something. You want to create something this month. Okay, guys, so I hope this helps you. Um, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. And again, guys, um, if you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button for me. Um, again, remember that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. So be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising also. I love you guys. Until next time, have a wonderful and a beautiful October. Mwah.